Good morning. What an awesome and blessed day. So listening to the Lord as I walked over here this morning, he had me come over here, and he wanted me to talk to you about the arena of life. We're all in this arena together, on this giant scope of an earth. You know that there's a arena out there and if there's an arena then there's stands for spectators there's uh usually someone out selling some stuff there's usually uh some clowns out in the arena maybe there's usually uh a hopeful hero taking a stand on a giant beast. And all the spectators came. To either see him win. Or to lose. See some spectators come. To cheer on the victor. And some come. And some come. To shout taunts. And to laugh and joke. At the misfortunes and mishaps of those who dare. To have enough zeal. And fever to enter said arena. To have enough boldness. And confidence in the one. The true king. That called them into said arena. That no matter how many are in the stands, they know that the true fight has nothing to do with them, has nothing to do with the beast, has nothing to even do with the arena. It has to do with yourself. See, for those that enter into the arena who have enough gall and gusto and fearlessness, confidence to jump, into said arena to take that stand to be seen by all to even be hoped upon even that one needs a source needs a place to pull from needs a place to give over its fullness whenever he has failed or she has failed and fallen short of said goal when that beast in that arena drags them all around and the clown doesn't come fast enough, when the whole audience of the arena stands up and shouts and laughs, you must have a source to go back and draw from. For we may enter in and even perform properly under his calling, guys. But when we fall short, do we know the source that brought us to said arena? Do we remember that we were called to that place? That it is not a space of our own. That we did not come there pridefully to try and show ourselves better than all the other people. We came there to show ourselves approved so that the people that don't believe in themselves will have enough guts to stand up in belief that, wow, someone did it under the strength of heaven that the entirety of the Holy Spirit housed inside of them they were able to go out and perform where most people would shrink and fail and fall so today the Lord has brought me forward to give y'all courage and hope and strength through these words of encouragement. 
When you enter into the arena of life, know that there are many clowns. There are many spectators. Definitely ready to hurl taunts and insults and laughter at your failure. And there are many that are there to cheer you on as you have victory. And there are also many that come to simply make a penny and a profit off of your example. They sell in the courtyards. Their family eats because you choose and said yes to the call to come out and be a proof. Now, this is all very allegorical. Obviously, you know, we all have to step into the arena of life. But know that the arena of life is exactly the same as this arena. Just know <coughs> that this arena, it's all false. <laughs> what we see here and what we expel here has eternity. And it has eternal ramifications and ripples. For we do not wrestle against flesh and blood. But against powers in high places and darkness. Against all manner and kind of things that set itself up against the power of God. And we stand against that today in Jesus' name. With the power of His Holy Spirit. We shall not shrink in fear. We will have confidence. In the arena of life. For we know we did not come here alone. We know that we are not our own. And we know that we are, we are called into the arena. That you shall surely be with us. Whether failure or victory. You are the king. You get the glory. You get the victory. For it is already yours and ours. We simply must act when you say go into said arena. Give of ourselves. Regardless of the outcome. For in the end we all shall gain victory through you. If you have not already figured that out. It is available to you today. Sweet victory in Christ Jesus. So know that all those individuals on the stands. All the ones that are shouting and taunting and laughing. And there. No, they're truly on your side, even if they don't know it. Because of them, you have purpose. You have a reason to go to said arena. They even help build the arena. But know that even that the arena, the stands, and the people in them, even the enemies, even that bull that you're riding around out there, those stallions, those sheep that our kids run around, um, even the beasts are the Lord's. Yeah, all of it's his. All of this space is manufactured for us to learn, to grow closer to him, to have practice, to be able to go forward and live in the capacity he called us. So I ask today, will you step into the arena? Will you step in with confidence and boldness? Even though you have fear, even though you're shaking and your knees are trembling, will you step out in confidence and courage in the truth that he has called you? And say, yes, I will step into the arena of life. Whether I fall flat on my face, whether that beast bucks me off, whether the whole crowd taunts and laughs at me. I know that the Lord has called me here because I am here. And so I will give forth my best effort. And not because I want any glory. That is vanity. Because all honor and glory and praise go to the King through His Son, Jesus Christ. And we stand on that truth today. And because of that, we go into the arena. And we give of our whole self, our whole heart, our best. And we know that we do not give it for the spectators, but for the one watching, the one that's living inside of us, for the whole host of heaven. For there is an open heaven. And they both watch and praise God's creation that listens and does His will on the earth. So we shall go forward and do such in His holy and precious name. I pray today 
Lord Jesus, that you come and be with your people, that you give them strength and understanding, power in their weakness. I ask that you give them peace and truth for their unbelief. I ask that you give them obedience for their backbiting. And I ask that you give them longevity, Lord. Longevity in your word, in your calling, in your will. And I ask for your help. I ask for your people to come in. I ask for your warring angels to be set about those people. I ask, Lord, that you clear the field of debris. And I ask, Lord Jesus, that all stumbling blocks start to measure up and be stacked so that we can have a higher position as we start the steps of heaven that those angels that are set about are warring angels and that they whisper truth both day and night that the weapons in the enemy's hands turn to ash and that the plans that they derise in the night and in the cloak of darkness come to ruin upon their own heads. That the Lord bless our enemies so much that they cry out in torment and must turn and repent and be found in the camp of heaven to be transmuted and transformed and redeemed into the likeness of Christ that they shall no longer go forward in evilness and that his holy and mighty right hand purge them of all uncleanliness and unrighteousness and that they become children of God and that if there is some way and some inkling, Lord Jesus, that you can utilize our lives for said change and conversion, do so and let us hold none of it in vain glory. Let you hold and house all of it and let us praise and worship your holy and precious name in the name of your son and holy spirit amen thank you jesus carpe diem seize the day greatness requires more victory jesus i love you go forward in power and peace today know that this arena it is the lord's you are the Lord's, the people are the Lord's, the stands are the Lord's, all of it is His. If He has called you to set arena, know that He is with you. Give your all. Give it to and for Him. <coughs> Move forward in His capacity and know that He will see you through. God bless y'all. Enjoy y'all's day. Thank y'all. If this message blessed you and touched you, please share it with someone. Go forward in peace and truth and the power of the Holy Spirit today. In Jesus' name, amen.